Hey, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School, and I like to every now and then talk to uh, black people that are doing awesome things. And so today I get a chance to speak to my man, Kenyo, uh, who is an artist, among other things, an entrepreneur and a lot of other things. And so uh, before, I, but before I start talking about what he does, I want him to kind of tell you a little bit about it. So uh, first I'm going to ask my brother, how you doing today? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm, this, is, this is an honor. Thank you. Oh, the honor's all mine, man. All mine. So, uh, Kenyo, uh, now you, because I asked you, I said, so, so it, you want to mention the last name? He said, no, just Kenyo. So, Kenyo is the name, that's your brand, uh, is that correct? That's my brand, um, and that, that's the name that I go under. Okay. And so, Kenyo, you, uh, now I, I remember you, you mentioned to me that you do art, you're an artist. Um, uh, what kind of artist are you? Um, so my art, as far as art, when it comes to art, I focus on um, abstract art. I do, um, uh, I also do portraits from time to time when it comes to art, but um, I'm also a poet. Mm, okay, a poet. Interesting, interesting. So what's that life like, um, you know, for a poet? I mean, a lot of people, when they think about artists and poets, they don't really know exactly how you go about actually, you know, paying bills and and, uh, and and things like that as an artist and a poet. Uh, what what model have you sort of applied to your work uh, to allow you to, you know, be able to, to you know, have, do those sort of financial functions and still pursue the things you love? Yeah, so that's interesting. And there's, there's really two ways to go about it um, for most people. Um, I think the first, the easier option is if you if you love creating art um, and, and um, you just want to be able to do that. You like to write early mornings. That's the best time for a poet to write. So for me, if I can wake up at five o'clock, I can knock out two hours of writing poetry late at night. That's also great to stay up late, write poetry. And then you can actually work a regular job. Um, so I was doing that for a really long time. Uh, I would, and I, I love doing that. I think that it's something uh, where God put me in different situations in my life so that I could learn from people who are running businesses, uh, especially the last business I worked for. Um, I, I worked so closely with them. He was really a mentor to me and I was able to see how he run a business and what it was really like, uh, the stress and then also the fun and the freedom of running your own business. And that's, um, that's what I did until I transitioned into what I do now and why I try to help so many other people who are in my same shoes. I think that for an artist, um, where the money comes in is it really takes an entrepreneurial eye. Um, and that's actually also a talent, to be honest. Um, so I, I think um, what I do now um, is I do a number of different things. I do events. Uh, so I do uh, I'll host events for other people. They'll, they'll bring me out to do their events. And then I also do a weekly event that I also tied into a podcast. So it's an entire media entity. Weekly, we do a live show, which brings revenue to the location that we're at. And so I get a kickback of that. And then we also bring out sponsors. And so that's where the bulk of the revenue comes from. What's your podcast called? Uh, Kenyo Live, same as my weekly show. Mm, Kenyo Live, okay. And so um, uh, now, what, now when you host the podcast, uh, which platform do you host it on? Uh, I use SoundCloud. And then after that, I went ahead and added it to, you know, iTunes. Um, then there's a few other things that people use, Google Play, um, different mm. things that you can submit your podcast to. Okay, so it's, more, so it's an audio podcast. Oh, yeah. audio podcast. oh okay, okay. Um, and uh, now what, what, what's the uh, content on Kenyo Live? Uh, I focus everything I do around artists and entrepreneurs. Um, mm. That's the area in which I run in. That's what I feel like I am. And that way uh, I can just be me. Okay. So if I'm, if I'm say another kind of artist outside of what you do, let's say I'm a musical artist, yeah. um, you know, uh, what, what kind of, uh, how, how would you sort of change, shift your advice right, to a, say a musical artist versus say uh, a painter or a, um, or a poet? Would you say that the models are kind of consistent across the board? Yeah, uh, I, I would say that the models are consistent. The thing that you're really going to have to do is, and what I think a lot of artists, um, they struggle with, uh, is you're going to have to put in a, a, a work. You're going to have to put in a lot of work. Um, and that means a, a bunch of different things. If you're extremely talented, um, if you're extremely, extremely, God just blessed your life talented, um, there is always the root of just um, creating, going straight for if you're a musician, make your album, sell it, um, put it out there. You know, if you have the right team around you, you can also 
do the same thing. Now, if uh, the other path is you're gonna have to put in a lot of work to find out what 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 your lane is. Um, music is pretty straightforward. Um, it's gonna be about shows and it's gonna be about, um, so you're gonna have to tour. If you're not playing at least two shows a week, um, you need to do that. <laughs> mm. Putting out content these days uh, with Snapchat, <clears throat> Facebook, Instagram. If you're not putting out uh, at least, I would say three to five pieces of content a week, um, I, you know, you need to do that. Otherwise, mm. um, you know, maybe you're working for someone else while you take music lessons. But if you really consider yourself a musician, then you have to be, you know, in, in the act of making music, which is putting mm. playing shows. Interesting. Uh, by the way, I wanted to ask you, 